Right now, this is an install video. I'm getting ready to install these LED lights. And this is Genesis. The brand is Genesis. These were fairly cheap. I saw somebody else with them. He told me where he got it from, so I decided to check it out. And this, just a regular plug and play. No, no need to cut any wires. You just buy the one for your application. It's screwing the same place your regular factory bulb screw into. And the pigtail that will go on the back of your factory bulb, you just plug it on this pigtail right here. Right now I'm getting ready to take out these headlight bulbs. And these bulbs, they've been in there for a while. I think I only changed the one on the driver's side one time. So they're, they're kind of tight in there. And if it's hard to come out, just keep playing with it it'll eventually come out and these headlights this will be real bright like if you ever see one of those guys out of Miami with those um FLDs those older trucks like the Columbia and the um the Century they have some really bright headlights in there that's the look I'm trying to get so hopefully it'll work out with this. Cause the guy I saw with it, that's how his headlights look. Now I'm thinking about changing the actual headlight housing soon. So depending on how this look, if it don't look super bright like them ones I just mentioned, I'm going to eventually change out the actual headlight housing. Cause I cleaned these ones up a few times before. And I got to keep cleaning them up. So I think at this point, I might as well just go ahead and replace them. I'm going to keep these old headlights as spear. Just in case I'm out on the road and one of these bulbs blow. I could just put one of those um, regular factory headlight bulbs back in there until I come back in. And that's all. That's a whole... Thing right there that's all it is the way I'm tightening up you could undo that and separate the bulb from the ballast that little box right there is called a ballast so you could separate it put in the bulb then connect back the connection right there but because I have the room in there to work so I just leave it like that and just screw the bulb in and it's a fairly simple job. If you could change a headlight on your car, you could do this headlight right here. You don't have to cut and splice any wire. And this is just for your regular driving lights. I'm thinking about getting the head the high beams. So when I change the headlight housing itself, I'm just going to order the high beams at the same time. So I could have the super bright high beams also. So I already got it installed. It didn't take any time to install it. What I'm getting ready to do is secure this box. That way it don't keep shaking up when I'm driving. And eventually damage the wire or damage the bulb. It's too notch on the side of the little box. All you gotta do is get a zip tie run it through the notch on one side you could either tie it to your regular headlight harness like in my situation there's a secure screw right here that's holding down the headlight harness so i'm just gonna run the zip tie through it and secure it secure it right there that way i know it's secure because that's where they secure the harness for the regular headlight And the other side is the same install as this side. So just check out the videos, man. I'm also going to put a link in the description. Anybody interested in getting these headlights, you could just click on the link, search for your year, make and model, and it'll bring up the exact one that you need.